Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona of Ghost Raiders here. We got mail. Hey Santee, tell us about gun engraving, Rattlesnake Pete. Hmm, gun engraving, beautifully tooled firearms. Why am I talking in a Scottish accent? I probably ought to stop drinking at breakfast. It's that time. Let's check it out. Beautiful. Engraving has gone on since firearms were invented. Before they were being mass produced, each gun was handmade and based on the desires of the customer could be elegantly decorated with carvings in the metal and even inlays. Military weapons were typically not engraved as they were being churned out to soldiers as tools used in battle. However, we do see examples of soldiers scratching designs or their names on the guns during wartime. I'm sure this didn't make the Ordnance Department very happy when they returned their firearms. This'll make the armorers mad. You're kind of a jerk, Sydney. Eh. The golden age of firearm engraving is agreeably the mid to late 1800s. Well, that conveniently fits right into the Old West, doesn't it? If you ordered a firearm from the manufacturer, their custom shop could engrave it for you for an extra fee. In the day, this was all done by hand. It wasn't just the metal, sometimes folks would want the stock engraved as well. Of course, firearm companies were selling already engraved guns that could be purchased from companies like Hartley and Graham. Sure, there were craftsmen dotting the West that you could take your pistol, rifle, or shotgun to, and they could engrave it. The process was done with chisels and hammers, and designs varied from scroll work to battle scenes. The cylinders on the famous Colt percussion revolvers, like the 1849 pocket model, and the 1851 Navy depicted stagecoach robberies and naval battles. Famous engravers like Louis Nimschke, Gustav Jung, and Hermann Ulrich were master engravers whose work is unparalleled and copied much today. Colt's chief engraver was Kuno Helfricht, who worked there for 46 years, retiring in 1921. His craftsmanship can be seen plenty on Old Westian six guns dating back to 1876. In fact, Kuno's scroll work on engraved Colts is one of the most iconic designs that represents the American West. This design of Helfrich's was found on the Colt single actions purchased by the Dalton Gang for their failed double bank robbery in Coffeyville, Kansas in 1892. And so with the last of our train robbing money, we outfitted ourselves for Coffeyville. These days gun engraving can still be done by hand, but manufacturers can also do it with computers and lasers, which makes the process less expensive and speedier. Arizona Red owns this attractive laser-engraved single-action army. When he's not looking, I'm swiping it. Just like today, folks enjoyed spiffy items. Not everyone could afford an engraved revolver or long gun, and some of these were given as gifts for valued service. Yeah, our silver screen cowboys had them, and about every western cap gun found in the toy department sports some tooling. Honestly, they truly are works of art and just add to the allure of the Old West. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail.